Zwom. Bimo. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Bimo Creative video. This video is about New Year's resolutions, which almost always have something to do with losing weight, right? This is before and after Bimo. Well, not really, but you get the idea. So there are five things to expect that no one tells you when it comes to losing weight. And that's what I'm going to give you here in this video. But first, a disclaimer. I am not a doctor in any means. And so everything I'm going to tell you is based on my experience and what I have witnessed. So uh, yeah, I suggest you do your own research. And after doing the research and experiencing it for yourself, you will end up seeing that I'm right. And uh, yeah, are you ready? Here we go. The number one thing is to avoid injury. Don't start out heavy and hard and fast. You need to take it easy. Slow it down. Incrementally increase. Don't go as slow as like just laying around. But yeah, don't don't just jump right in because you're going to end up getting hurt. You're going to end up getting sore the next day and you'll be sore for several days. And then you might end up just giving up completely. I recommend starting slow and building up, adding more time into your workout or increasing the weights or increasing the speed not all of them at the same time the second thing believe it or not a lot of people will tell you it's selfish to start improving your health or improving your lifestyle by working out and it's not selfish folks you're becoming a better person for your family your community and for yourself so yeah don't let anybody tell you that it's selfish it's it's not selfish it's actually the opposite of selfish, all right? Take care of yourself so you can help take care of others. Number three, losing weight can cause depression. I don't know why this isn't talked about more, but starting a weight loss program of any kind can make you feel depressed and frustrated depending on how you decide to take action or not take action. So you get anxious about the fact that you're not doing it, even though in your gut you feel like you should be doing it. People get anxious because it's uh, they think it's not possible to reach their goals or that they uh, they don't want to give up their favorite foods, stuff like that. And it doesn't even matter if you're already buff because even this guy, he probably wants 17 inch arms instead of his 16 and a half inch arms. And so he's depressed because he's not getting there on time. Don't be that person. Focus on the right things and you will improve over time and don't let it depress you. Just take action. So first thing I think you should do is to figure out what motivates you. Why do you want to lose weight? Why do you need, you think you need to get in shape? Is it because of your health or is it because you want to fit into smaller clothes? Maybe, maybe it's because you want to be able to eat whatever you want and not gain weight like five pounds every time you eat a burger. Uh, maybe you want to get stronger. Maybe you just want to look better. Uh, all these motivations have different actions that need to be taken. For example, if you are doing it for your health then you probably should listen to what the doctor tells you for example if it's high blood pressure maybe start losing weight by reducing salt that will immediately make you start losing weight because you won't retain more water so uh, and stopping smoking and caffeine consumption all of which will lower your blood pressure and help you lose weight if you want to fit in a smaller clothes then I mean really you just gotta Reduce inflammatory substances in your diet, like uh, stop drinking Coke for every single drink of the day. Don't drink so many sodas. Slow down on that and uh, drink water instead and work out every morning. And yeah, you'll be able to fit in those clothes in no time. If you want to be able to eat whatever you want, I recommend not dieting or cutting anything out. Yeah, this might look like your your diet, what you eat every day. But I'm telling you, if you if you cut anything out that you really, really love and enjoy right up front, then you're going to feel like you're losing out and you're going to get depressed about it and you're going to quit because you hate what you're doing. Instead, I recommend increasing the exercise level. I mean, I'm talking a lot, folks. Increase the amount of activity you do every day by a lot and continue eating whatever you want. And believe it or not, you will start losing weight and over time your morale will improve and your metabolism will improve and the things that you crave will change to something like this. 
you'll automatically start eating healthier over time instead of making yourself feel like you're losing out. If you want to be stronger, believe it or not, no matter how much you're already eating, you might not be eating the right things. So you're probably going to have to eat even more than you're already eating and then start a workout program that involves weightlifting light and then heavy over time and as you strength train you will lose weight as you gain muscle it's kind of how it works if you want to look better then usually that's probably not about losing weight but it's more about reducing inflammatory foods in your diet like sugars and alcohol and cigarettes and start using collagen um, getting more sleep drinking more water to stay hydrated and adding exercise to improve your morale and energy so there you go and I gotta tell you number four is check your results but it's not always about a scale like you might get depressed because you're not losing weight as fast as you want but sometimes it's not about losing weight you might reduce pant sizes without losing any weight because as you're losing fat you're gaining muscle or your pant size might be the same but you are losing weight but you could still be inflamed or you have some bloating going on because your diet isn't quite right all the metrics will work out over time so you just got to keep at it okay and then the last but not least is to check yourself because believe it or not the most common side effect of losing weight getting in shape and eating right and exercising is that you will be more confident and happier so share your success with others around you as inspiration for the new year if you plan on losing weight I suggest don't plan on doing a diet instead plan on improving your lifestyle and live well please don't forget to like this video subscribe to be more creative thanks so much for watching we'll see you thanks bye